Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and one of my subscribers from India sent me this problem. Here is the problem. What would be the nominal molecular mass of enzyme if it is a homodimer protein encoded by 1.5 kilobase pairs long open reading frame given that the average mass of each amino acid about 100 daltons. So here for answers to choose from, as usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your oven first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. In order to solve this problem, basically, all we have to know is that uh, on the messenger RNA, we can find um, codons, or in other words, trinucleotides, and three nucleotides would code for one amino acid. So this is table where we can find 61 uh, codons that would code for uh, 20 amino acids and three of them doesn't code for any amino acids but code for the stop of the uh, translation. So for example if we would have here say A U C C C A U U A uh, that means that uh, such a sequence would be equal to one, two, three amino acids. So as you see in this example, nine uh, nucleic acids code for three amino acids and our calculations are going to be very simple. Uh, if we have 1.5 kilobase pairs uh, long messenger RNA, that means uh, kilo here stands for 1000, just like in kilogram. In kilogram we have 1000 grams. So we have to multiply 1.5 by 1000 and we would find uh, how long uh, coding sequence and as you see coding sequence would equal to 1500 uh, nucleic acids and uh, nucleic acids of the messenger RNA and as you see trinucleotide one trinucleotide stands for one amino acid. That means that we have to divide this number by three and we are going to get a number of uh, amino acids. That is going to be 500. Now we know that uh, messenger RNA that has 1500 uh, nucleotides uh, would code for 500 amino acids and uh, this is not the end of our calculations of course in order to find the weight we have to multiply 500 amino acids by 100 uh, daltons in order to find the weight of the protein chain so multiply by 100 and uh, the weight would be 50,000 Daltons. So, but uh, this is also not going to be our final answer. Uh, as you see, we are told that uh, this enzyme is homodimer. Homodimer means that this enzyme consists of uh, two uh, the same type of proteins. So this protein would be made so one protein and it would aggregate with itself. So would make such a pair and uh, we can find such proteins all the time. Uh, another example would be uh, for example hemoglobin that is made from four uh, residues from four uh, proteins, most of the proteins in our bodies would aggregate with other proteins. For example, ribosome 
that consist of two parts, small unit and large unit. So this large unit would consist of 50 uh, different proteins. So because our enzyme represents homodimer and each protein here would weigh 50,000 uh, daltons, uh, that means that we have to multiply this number by 2. So 50,000 we multiply by 2 and we are going to get 100,000 and this is going to be a weight of this homodimer protein and now we have to convert uh, this number into a scientific notation which would be 1 multiplied by 10 raised 5 and 5 here uh, means that we have to multiply this number by itself 5 times. So if we multiply 10 by itself 5 times we are going to get uh, 100,000 and if we multiply 1 by 100,000 we are going to get 100,000. So as you see this is our answer today. As you see this is answer C. 1 multiplied by 10 in a power of 5 and this is weight in Daltons. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share with your classmates. Send me new problems and see you in the next video. Goodbye.